Hi folks, we're going to take a look at number 7 on page 167. So they tell us that a rectangle has a width of x centimeters and its length is double its width. Okay, so they want us to create a table of values, uh, which I'll look at in a second. But I think it might also be worth just coming up with an equation for the area. So remember that the uh, area is just equal to the length times the width for a rectangle. And so what we have is the length is double the width. So if the width is x, this is 2x and the width is just x, and of course 2x times x is just 2x squared. All right, so the question that they ask us in part d is to explain why the graph of this relation is nonlinear. So if we look at this relation here, um, we see that it does not have the form y equals mx plus b, and we, what you found last year was that all uh, linear functions have the form y equals mx plus b. So notice I say linear functions because if you have a vertical line, it does not have the uh, form y equals mx plus b, but that's not a function. So right off the bat, we can see that analytically, so remember our three ways of representing a uh, function or a relation, one of them being the analytic, shows that it's not a linear relationship. All right, so if we look to the left here, I created a table of values up to eight centimeters as they suggested. And how can we tell uh, numerically? So table of val values is an example of a numerical representation. How can we tell that it's not linear? Well, we can see that because the X's are going up by the same amount each time, we can check the differences in the Y's, the first differences, and see if they're constant. And we see that as we go from two to eight, it goes up by six, but from eight to 18, right away we see that the first differences are not gonna be constant. So we have a numerical justification as to why this is not a linear relation. And then if we actually go to the graph, we can see that uh, the points do not form a straight line. So the graphical uh, justification is that uh, it does not form a straight line, which you'd need to have if it was a linear relationship. All right, so this answers all the questions. So a couple of things is, if at all possible, always try to write an analytic representation of your scenario, okay? And that here, when we're uh, studying relations or functions, we can always have these three perspectives, the analytic, the numerical, and the graphical. Okay, that's it for this one.